good morning friends so i'm now basically recording this video to provide you the next level of the standard costing so we had done earlier the recording on material variances and labor variances i would suggest you guys to go through those links and then <coughs> you can refer to this video the links to those videos are provided in the description column now coming to voh variances VOH variances is predominantly like the same as labor variances. Now, every variance we have done till now, that is, let's take it as material. Material had two parts. You had price and quantity. Labor had two parts, rate and hours. Now, similarly, variable overage will work with the same thing. That is the two components to your variable overages is rate and hours because overages are predominantly absorbed on the basis of labor hours. It can be machine hours also but predominantly it's labor hours. Now <clears throat> coming to this calculation, let's look at the chart. The chart will have SR, AR, SH, AH. So you have SR, AR, SH, AH. So the computation table will be SR into SH, SR into AH, AR into AH. There will be few conversion factors. I'll explain as it is now. The computation table is SR into SH, SR into AH, AR into a standard rate into standard hours standard rate into actual hours and actual rate into actual hours sr into sh is otherwise called as ao into sr actual output into standard rate per unit this is a conversion factor because your sh is always calculated with the help of ao sh is always calculated with the help of ao SR into AH is otherwise called as SR into SO, standard rate into standard output. AR into AH is nothing but actual variable over it. Now, most of the problem solving, you will use this AO into SR, SR into AH, AVOH. This is what you will be using predominantly in most of the problems, but the, the rules are this. SR into SH, otherwise called as AO into SR. SR into H, otherwise called as SR into SO. AR into H, otherwise called as AVOH. Now, this top part is called as expenditure variance. Like rate, we have expenditure. And this part is called as efficiency variance. So, the formula for variable overhead efficiency variance is equal to SR into SH, minus SR into AH, SR into SH, minus SR into AH, expenditure is SR into AH, minus AR into AH, so VOH expenditure is equal to SR into AH, minus AR into AH, VOH efficiency is SR into SH, minus SR into AH. So this is what you will be using. Now any problem you solve on variable overage, the first thing which you should start your calculation with is you should compute something called as SR. Now there are two types of SR, SR per unit and SR per hour. This will be your starting point for any calculation on variable overhead variances. You will start with SR per unit and SR per hour. SR per unit is equal to budgeted variable overage by budgeted units. SR per hour is budgeted variable overage by budgeted hours. So this will be the starting point for any problem on variable overage. When you use something like AO output, SO output, then you multiply it with SR per unit. If you are using something like SH, AH, then you will multiply it with SR per hour. So the table is to be read like this. SR into SH is standard rate per hour into standard hours. R actual output into standard rate per unit. SR into AH which is standard rate per hour into actual hours R standard rate into standard rate per unit into standard output this is as far as variable overage is concerned now I'll move to fixed overage now 
as far as pixel over x is concerned there will be two types of problem one problem is one where there will be calendar variance and the second problem is one there is no calendar variance so i'll first start with without calendar variance foh variance without calendar now before getting into the computation table and the chart here also you will start with sr per unit sr per hour standard rate per unit is equal to budgeted fixed overheads by budgeted units standard rate per hour is equal to budgeted fixed overheads by budgeted hours so your starting point is sr per unit bfoh by budgeted output sr per hour bfoh by budgeted hours now the only difference between your variable overheads material labor and fixed overheads is those expenses would practically change if the output comes down or goes up whereas fixed overheads is something which is expected to remain constant so there will be some bit of changes in the chart also now let's look at the chart sr i start with sr i'll come then the next is ar but i'll explain this in some time you start with sh standard rate into standard hours and we have something called as ah actual hours as far as this fixed overheads is concerned bh is very important budgeted hours this is the most important part so the table will look like this sr into sh sr into ah sr into bh and this ar no i don't want to call it as ar i'll call it as it goes to the end and we call it as actual fixed over it ar into ah technically but i can't link it here because otherwise the formula will not come so you can understand this as actual fixed over it the last line that is sr into sh sr into ah sr into bh and the final part is called as afoh actual fixed overheads now let me write the table sr into sh sr into ah sr into bh af oh actual fixed over it now this sr into sh is otherwise called as ao into sr sr into ah remains same sr into bh is otherwise called as bfoh budgeted fixed over its bfoh and afoh remains as same now this part the entire part from here is called as expenditure which is sr into bh minus afoh sr into bh minus afoh this this entire part is called as expenditure sh and ah difference is called as efficiency ah and bh that is whether we have used the r or not that is called as capacity whether we have utilized the capacity or not i am comparing my actual hours with budgeted hours to understand whether capacity has been utilized or not the overall part is called as volume variance so now i'll write down the formula the chart from the chart we will write down the formula now let's look at the formula just a minute so now the formula are efficiency efficiency is equal to sr into sh minus sr into ah sh ah difference is efficiency then we have capacity sr into ah minus sr into bh technically it's called as bfoh so that part you will have to take care when you note it then volume which is this together sr into sh 
minus SR into BH. Expenditure is SR into BH minus AFOH. This two top part is called as expenditure, efficiency, capacity and we have volume variance. So this is as far as without calendar. You will start with SR per unit, SR per hour. SR per unit may get utilized in the first column alone. It may get utilized here. Otherwise, that's of not much use. Now, this the chart again I'll explain. SR into SH, SR into AH, SR into BH. BH is needed. We don't use BH in any other variance. Here, I'm required to use BH because fixed overheads are based on budget. It doesn't change with the output or it doesn't change with the hours utilized. So SR into SH, SR into AH, SR into BH. Now the last part is AFOH. It's though starts with AR. Let me call it as AFOH. Now I'll come to the next part, which is your fixed overhead variances, wherein I use calendar. Calendar is I'll have to calculate variance called as calendar variance. Now FOH variances with calendar the earlier one was without calendar now this one will be with calendar now coming to with calendar approach not a major change this side you had SR we had written SH first then we had written AH we had BH this is what we had done SR AH BH in between you will have something called as PH possible hours in between you have something called as PH possible hours so the table is SR into SH SR into AH SR into PH SR into BH and the final part is AFOH, actual fixed over it. Now I'll write the computation table. SR into SH, SR into AH, SR into PH, SR into BH, AFOH. This is otherwise called as possible fixed over it. PFOH. SR into P, sorry, SR into SH, SR into AH, SR into PH is otherwise called as possible fixed over it. Budgeted fixed over it. So possible fixed over it, budgeted fixed over it, and actual fixed. This part, the first part is called as efficiency. SH and AH difference is called as efficiency. AH and PH, PH is possible as, which is capacity. PH and BH is calendar and the final part together is expenditure. So this overall part is called as expenditure. The first part is called as efficiency. Second part is called as capacity. Third part is called as calendar and the overall part is called as expenditure. Now let me note down the formula for you. Efficiency. SR into SH minus SR into AH, SH, AH. Capacity, SR into AH minus SR into PH. Comparing actual hours and possible hours, how much is the capacity utilization? Calendar, SR into PH minus SR into BH. This three parts together is called as volume, together part. So volume SR into SH minus SR into BH. And finally, we have expenditure, which is SR into BH minus AFOH. The main variance is obviously your overall variance, which is cost variance, which is nothing but SR into SH minus AFOH, SR into SH minus AFOH. <coughs> Please provide your comments on the video and your suggestions for improvement. I'll provide the sales variances quickly.